All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do RAM overclocking. Why would you overclock in the first place? So the easiest answer to that is FPS. You get more stable FPS and more FPS in general. Look at this picture. So what is RAM overclocking? So we got the three most important values. We got speed, we got latency, and we got voltage. And what do we want to do? We want to make the speed higher, make the latency lower, and make the voltage higher. So these were the basics. How do we do it? So we'll need a few programs. So go ahead and download Typhoon Burner, ADA64, EM5 with config, Zen Timings for AMD, and Astro Timing Configurator for Intel processors. So just download them. They're gonna be in the description and put them on your desktop. So how do you overclock your RAM? It's easy. So the first step, we're gonna max out the speed. So we enter the voltages. We enter the timings as 18, 22, 22, 42, and then we go up with the speed. So I start with 2400 and then I increase it by 200 and go up, and go up until my PC does not want to boot. I go up to 3600 and I've, at 3600 my PC does not want to boot, then go one lower and then benchmark it, stress test it. See if it's stable. If it's not stable, then go one lower and continue until stable. Then, when we got the highest stable value, then we want to lower the timings. So basically, the process is lowering the timings, then going into Windows, benchmarking it, stress testing it. If it's not stable, then going higher with the timings, and then going again into Windows, benchmarking and stress testing and finding the lowest stable value. To follow this guide, you need to know how to restart your motherboard settings. So if you don't know that, check out the link in the description. Obviously, disclaimer guys, I'm not responsible for what you do with your PC. This is only the way how I would overclock my PC. It's gonna be basic guys. So for all of the tweaking guys, I know you can do it better than that but these are only the basics. So let's start with the first point. We gotta check what's our RAM type. So let's open Typhoon Burner. Let's open Typhoon. Let's go to the read tab, go to read SPD. And here we have to find which RAM type we have and look for the manufacturer and for this serial number. Look at this number before the semicolon. So I myself have Micron EDI. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna go to the DDR4 overclocking guide, click Ctrl and F and type voltages, maximum recommended daily voltage. And here, look for your RAM. So I myself have Micron VDI. So it's one of the more skits, but we're gonna find out what we can do it with. So we're not gonna go over 1.45 volts. So for most of you guys, I would suggest keeping up with 1.45. So let's now go to BIOS. So restart your PC and start spamming delete key. So once we're in the BIOS, let's go to the OC tab. The first thing we're gonna change is gonna be the RAM frequency. So I'm gonna start, I'm currently on 2400, but I'm gonna start with 2800. Then let's go to advanced DRAM configuration. Then let's type command read. Let's start with 2T, then 18, then 22, then 22, then 42. TRFC leave it, then go to sub timing and change DCWL to 18. Let's then scroll down and find, go to misc item. If you guys have an option that says power down enable, then put it on disable. Then for the SA voltage, I'm gonna go with 1.25 volts, then CPU IO 1.25 volts and DRAM voltage 1.45. Let's then go to overclocking profile. Let's then go and save it to the first profile when we type it. Call it 2800. Let's then click save profile. Yes. Click F10 on your keyboard. And let's go into Windows and let's see if we can boot. So the first part, we're gonna try to max out our speed, see how far we can boot. And then we're gonna stress test where is our higher limit that is stable. So as you can see guys, we're in Windows. You can click Control, Shift and Escape to open Task Manager, then go to Performance in memory and let's see we're on 2800 let's go back into the bios all right and let's bump this 
DRM frequency. Let's bump it by 200 and let's see how far we can go. As you can see guys, we earned 3200 megahertz. Let's go back into the BIOS. Let's go to DRM frequency 3400. I'll do 30, 3466. Let's see. As you can see, 3466 still boots. Let's go back into BIOS. Let's try 3600 now. As you can see, my PC does not want to boot, but it's still, but it's still running. So let's click F1, and that means we have to go lower. So 3466 is the highest. Let's go to OC. 3466 is the highest that boots. Let's go back to Windows and let's now stress test it. All right, guys, let's then benchmark it and then let's stress test it. So let's go to ADA64, open it. Close every program that's running in the background, like Vanguard, etc. Let's then open Memtest. Let's run TM5 as administrator. Click yes. Then click load config and exit. Then go find the folder where you had it. So for me, that's here on the desktop bin and load extreme one. Let's then run TM5 again. And let's see. All right, we got an instant error. Let's then go back into BIOS. And let's lower down the speed. If we get an error, that means we have to go down with speed. Let's then lower it to 33, 33, F10. Let's then run ADA64 again. Again, tools, cache and benchmark memory, right click on start benchmark, start memory tests only. And let's see. All right, that's our baseline again. Let's save it, 3333, close it. Then let's run TM5 as administrator again. And do, don't do anything on your PC. We'll wait for the entire cycle. So it's gonna last around 15 or 30 minutes, depending on your PC. Then if we got an error, we gotta get it down again. All right, boys, we should be stable with 3333, as you can see. Let's go down and lower down the timings. So we'll start with TRFC, look at this table, you basically have to find your RAM type and your speed and find the value for it. Find your RAM type on the left side, so 300, mega, 300 nanoseconds and then find your speed. So for me it's gonna be at 500, so let's go into BIOS and let's enter TRFC and let's see if it would. Right, so go to the RAM configuration then TRFC, I'm gonna type 500. All right, that's a good sign. We boot into Windows. Let's go into the BIOS. Lower the sub timings, start with height config, go into Windows, benchmark it, stress test it. If it's not stable, then go to safe preset, then benchmark it, stress test it until it's stable. So for tier 5, 50,000. TWR 16, then 4, then 10, then 4, then 6, then 8, then PFAP 16, TCCDL 8, turnaround timing 7, 4, 7, 7, TRDRD, and then TWR, WR, SG 7, 4, seven seven some of them are for dual rank but we will make sure to dial all of them let's then click f10 let's do a quick benchmark we can then stress test it and then we'll lower down the main timings so we start with tcl and tcwl we lower it by two then we see if it if it boots if it doesn't boot then go one up and stress test it. See if it's stable. If it's not stable, go one up and continue until it's stable. All right, so let's now lower TCL by two points and then TCWL by two points as well. That's how I usually do that. I usually go down as low as possible. I see if I can boot 
and then if it's not stable I just go up one point so let's click F10 click yes and let's see if we can boot seems like we can't boot so we'll go up to 17 let's go back to BIOS and let's type 17 instead of 16 in TCL and TCL 17 let's see if that'll work as you can see it's better than before so we will go ahead and stress test it let's see all right boys we got an error at five minutes so let's go back and change it to 18 and we're gonna go with trcd all right so we're going back to 18 and then 18 then do the same thing with trcd lower it by two then if it's not stable, then if it doesn't boot, then go one up. If it's stable, then leave it on that. And then let's do the same thing with TRCD. So let's start with 20. Let's see if we can boot. Let's go. Then do the same with TRP and then TRS at the end. In my instance, I had to lower TRCD and TRP together because they didn't want to go lower alone. So that's what I did. All right, boys, so we stress this thing. TRCD and TRP at 20 and TRS at 40. All right, boys, we're like 20 minutes in. Let's lower down the TRCD to 19 and let's see what happens. Let's go TRCD to 19, 19, both of them. And let's then do 39. Let's click F10 and yes. It looks like we're now booting. Let's go back to BIOS and let's try to lower down the TRCD only. And leave TRTP and leave TRS at 40. We're stuck on 20, 20. So let's go down to BIOS. And let's change TRP to 19. All right, TRP has not changed. So let's go back into BIOS. So let's now lower TRAS until it's unstable. So TRAS is TRP plus TRTP, so 20 plus 8. So we're gonna start with 28 and let's see how it goes, but I suppose it's not gonna work that well. Let's see. All right, my PC turned off, so it's an indicator of it being unstable. If it didn't even boot for you, I would suggest going up by 4, so to 32, and let's just see what happens if it boots, it didn't boot, so let's go 2 more up, so let's try 34, 34, alright, it did not boot, so let's go again, and let's now try 36, alright guys, we got a blue screen, so we gotta go up, by two points again so let's do 38 let's stress test it let's then go back to BIOS if your speed is low like mine or below 4000 you can try command rate putting it to 1 and then F10 and then let's see if it will work for me, command rate 1 does not even boot, so we gotta stay at 2. So guys, these are my final results. 